Hey everyone, welcome back to Cop Needs a Homestead. I'm Jen. I bring anti-MLM stuff, uh, lifestyle, and if you really are interested in some crazy life, you know, true life stuff, watch my crazy Russian wedding. You know, I'll leave a link to it below. But uh, I want to talk about... Uh, my pre the other video I made a couple of days ago about the consultant who was racist and I said I was going to do a follow up on the situation well there's a follow up on the situation it was uh, released today also by City Pages I will leave a link to the article in this corner because this is the corner where the links go that corner And, uh, yeah, again, I'd like everyone to remember I suck at reading out loud and I wish to get better. So, bear with me and everything. Anywho, uh, getting back to the story, we are going to City Art Pages. This is regarding the consultant that I did a, an article a few days ago. Now, is this the right article? Nope. There we go. That's the right article. Okay, seriously, if I do not get this right next, next, I am going to flip shit. Sorry, I have dyslexia. And this has got to be like my fourth time actually trying to read the article title. Mary Kay drops woman caught taking down Black Lives Matter sign. Sometime in the mid-80s, Linda Burgesson's sales for Mary Kay took off to such a degree that she quit her job teaching. We should all be a little grateful for her success. Society's better off with women like Linda hawking cosmetics in a multi-level marketing period pyramid scheme than educating youth. Oh, Maybe she'd be better off as a teacher, but apparent, but she's kind of racist, so. Maybe if she was a teacher in the South? No offense, Southern people. It's just I've, I've heard you guys are racist. I'm Canadian. This is no offense. This is just stereotypical what you hear up here. As of 2016, Burgesson, a resident of Wausau, Wisconsin, had been issued 19 of Mary Kay's signature pink Cadillacs, a bonus received for the work of company's top sellers. You go to a four-way sign and people stop and look at you a bit longer, Burgesson told local TV station. And say, is that really pink? Really, though? Do they really? I don't know. I, 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 every time I see an MLM car, like in traffic, I, I, but listen, I'm now anti MLM, so I, I'm a bit biased. I kind of like sneer at them, and I, I kind of want to like flip them of the bird, and that's just the way how I feel, and I, I don't because that's just not proper, you know, driving etiquette. Maybe if they cut me off, I would do that, but you know, I digress. Burgesson was in one of those very same signature Mary Kay cars when she and her husband Tom pulled over in Grand Murray to stage their stupid little protest, taking down a, the Black Signs Matter sign the resor resort owner Andy DeLeslie had put up on his property. The couple were caught on camera and later interviewed by Cook County Sheriff Department. Linda and Tom got off with a warning. She explained their actions to the deputy that they'd want to send a message. Message received. As of yesterday, Linda Burgesson is no longer a Mary Kay saleswoman according to the statement from a company spokesperson. This 
extremely preschooly preschool teachery statement doesn't quite condone or even acknowledge the more problematic aspect of needing to take down a, a Black Lives Matter sign. So good on Mary Kay for doing the absolute bare minimum of ass covering. Yeah, it kind of is the absolute bare minimum. Oh, I wound up missing a post. I'm sorry. Uh, this is from the Mary Kay, I believe. The golden rule, respect, and making others feel important are the founding values here at Mary Kay and are expected from every independent beauty consultant that they're, that the rep represents our brand. After looking into the situation, we will be severing ties with our severing our relationship with this individual anyways we sure hope this gives Bergson a fellow four-way stop looker far more interesting set of questions to ask so yeah so at least Mary Kay actually you know dealt with the problem I will you know give them that I believe we do need to call out more of the we just need to call it racism when we see it. And I'm not trying to say it's even ra just racism in MLMs, but just in general, call out racism when you see it. Because, you know, how else are we going to end the racism? I'm not sure if we can ever end racism, to be honest, because, you know, human nature, we're just bastards, honestly. Uh, 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 like, species-wise, we're bastards. We are real bastards. <laughs> I know you're thinking I'm terrible for saying that, but you know, you know, you see a dog, they don't give a damn about, you know, oh, that's a husky. I'm a husky or, you know, I'm not going to associate with pit bulls, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying animals don't seem to do that. It's more us humans. It feels like, uh, yeah. So there's that Mary Kay did that, which is great. Um, like I said, I'll be leaving the article. It's, like I said, nice follow-up from the company. And, you know, it's great that something was addressed. But anyways, I'm Jen from Cop Needs a Homestead. Like, subscribe, comment, you know, and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>